when I tell people my name is Islam, they have this impression. It's like, you're a Muslim? My whole family, last name is Islam. My mother, my father, my brother, and me. So being called Islam, it's not just by myself. It's for my culture and everyone around me. We live in Brooklyn. We live in New York City, the mecca of all immigrants. When I walk down the street, I see a lot of brown people. I smell the curry. It's empowering to have so many of my own people in my community. And that's why I call myself Islam. Amma, for album goy. For album. Growing up as a first generation American, you don't have role models. My parents, they were learning as I was learning about this country. That's you? That's me. Yeah. Wow. That's you, you guys. Love the jacket on. <laughs> most of these pictures are from back at home, Bangladesh. Yes, most of Bangladesh, yeah. My father was like a hustler. He works 24 7, and I seen that work ethic. Before high school, it was like he couldn't barely be there because he had to feed my family, feed my sister's family, and feed family back at home. I wasn't really close with you, a, a mom, because of the fact that before high school, it was like both of you guys are working, and it's me and my young, and me and Shago, my younger brother. And, um, you know, it's like we just, it was only us two, and you guys are working. It was nothing wrong with that, because, and then you guys had to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like you always neglect the fact that the guidance wasn't there. Sometimes at the teen age, you don't know what they are doing mm -hmm. until they caught. So that is our ignorance. Mm -hmm. We don't know about the US society or everything. Mm -hmm. And e school system, how it works. And if we can pay more attention, it's supposed to go a better way. Our parents came to America for their kids to have better education. And as their first child, I basically destroyed that dream. I was kicked out of high school in 11th grade. Knowing that I was not gonna graduate on time gave me that wake up call, like, you have to do something. I went back to high school, got my diploma, and now I have a degree in business from Brooklyn College. Here in the house of God, and I, I gotta be honest, um, I don't pray as much. The reason behind that is because of the fact that I grew up in a household where my parents weren't very religious. And since I didn't see my parents show examples of how to pray or what praying should look like, I didn't really get to pray as much or how often as I always wanted to. My dad, since I was small, the one thing he always pushed was, you know, the, the religion and not to give up my prayers, you know, always fast, always, you know, do, uh, read the Quran. I mean, we neighbors. I live upstairs of you, you live downstairs whole of me, a whole, all, all the life I'd seen, grew up. We grew up in two Muslim households, but we grew up in two opposite Islamic households. There's not much of a difference. Just because I you know, perform it and you don't perform it doesn't mean we're not there in, you know, spiritually. <laughs> Many reasons the kids turn away from religion is because most of our parents came from Bangladesh and the way they practice Islam there is very different from the lifestyle we live over here. A lot of kids in the park ask me, you know, you're a Hafiz, shouldn't you be in the mosque? And then they see me wearing normal clothes because Hafiz is usually wearing, uh, you know, traditional, clothes. traditional clothing. They see me wearing, you know, you know nice Short. clothing and, <laughs> and, and then they see me playing basketball but they also see me in the mosque and then they're like, you know, if that's Islam, you know, that's what I want to be about. Okay. 
when I was in middle school, like eighth grade, you know, we used to all hang out in a local park. Eighth grade is the first time I tried out drugs. Ninth grade, tenth grade, did not go to class at all. When I was not going to school, I was literally in the streets and the school I went to, it was a very violent school. With a lot of fights going on, a lot of gang issues. You gotta really analyze what's going on in the public school system. Especially when you see students all around your high school repeatedly doing the same thing every single day. And the teachers see it, but they don't take action. When you get hit in the face, your only reaction is to fight back and protect yourself. And that's self-defense. From gangs to drugs, it really takes a toll on the youth. And I've seen that. It breaks my heart because of the fact that what can we do for them? What can we really do for them? Let's start off with like an like icebreaker. I mean, you guys know my name, but I don't know the rest of you guys' name besides Saad, Hanaf, and you, and Siam. So how about just like, go around and say each other's names? It's a little fun fact. All right, so um, my name is Abid Siam. And fun fact about me, well, <laughs> there isn't really much fun about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do go to school at uh, NYU, mm -hmm. right? I'm studying engineering. You want to go next? Do you guys believe that females in our community, the Muslim females, has a lot harder than uh, Muslim men in our community? Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, why is that? Is the reason behind it? Well, just by the way we dress and stuff, mm. like, you can't really tell right away if someone's a Muslim or not, mm. like if they're a guy. But for the women, like the sisters, they have to wear the hijab and stuff. Mm. So, like, as soon as you see them, like, it's like a target on their head, you know? What do you think we as men, what we could do for our Muslim females? I think we should give them, like, a platform. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, people don't give as much attention or a platform for them to speak. Hmm. And that's something we should fix. I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing in the day because the fact that I think we need more of this. We need more youth to step up and speak up. What I want to do for the youth is to give them some type of guidance. That's what a big brother is for. And that's what I represent in my own community. Yeah, I may not know everything. But as an adult, I'm taking my responsibility to help out the youth and guide them right.